What's up? Got a new bike. No, oh, I really did. Thankfully, still have the KTM, not going anywhere. Still have the 110, not going anywhere. But I said a couple videos back, um, you know, I like track. I suck at it, but I want to learn it. I think it's good. I found this killer deal on this 2015 YZ250F. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about the whole four stroke thing. Not really for me. Ooh. Hey, hey. I'm not a vlogging professional. This isn't my thing. Not yet, maybe. I don't know. But we got it. We got a four stroke. I don't know why. But it was a good deal. I couldn't pass it up. I ran it around the yard a couple of times and I don't know. Runs pretty good. Still recovering on the hand front here. Look at that. I can almost bend my hand the whole way down. There's uh, two fractures in here and then one on the back side of my ring. Yeah, that's my ring finger. <laughs> ring finger knuckle. It's coming along. It's starting to feel better every day. Found this. Found this beauty here. Uh, look at that. Metal militia. Dig in. Just got a couple parts in, like literally in the mail. A uh, couple more I think are going to come, but picked up a new shift lever. That one was a little bent. New clutch lever. That one is very bent. Picked up some new grips. I'll show you why in a second. And I always change all the, all the fluids, so new oil filter. So the best part about this bike is why I got the new grips. Might not put them on yet, but this is something no other bike has that I've ever owned. Watch this built-in cruise control, ready? Look at that. It just stays wide open. Maybe that's how you go faster. Look at that. <laughs> it's awesome. It's scary. It's not gonna stay. Do you like that intro? I forgot my tripod downstairs and I've already made like six trips, so I was sick of it. Look at this. This is the magic behind the camera that you don't see. <laughs> Parts boxes. Brought to you by Home Depot and Rocky Mountain. All right, all right, for real though. I bought this bike. Uh, honestly, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be a flip or a keep. It's a four stroke, eh, not really my thing. I really wanted a YZ125, KTM 125, KTM 150, something like that. But I just couldn't find one for the right price. I don't want to spend a ton of money on it because really I am most likely not going to be switching over to a motocross channel. Still love Enduro, still love my KTM two stroke. It's not going anywhere, promise. But I do start like hitting jumps and my KTM just can't do it. That's a hard Enduro bike. It's not made for it. My front wheel is already crazy bent on it. And I just don't want to abuse the suspension on it anymore. And it's got the wide ratio transmission. It's just not good for riding track. I prefer to keep that set up for my enduro riding. I've got the soft mousses in it. I've got gummy tires on it. Doesn't do well on a track. It's raining pretty hard out there. Yeah, gonna get it all dialed up. Good to go, it's fuel injected, so I like that. It's a Kickstarter, I'm not used to doing that. I'm used to the KTM magic button life. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'm gonna take this thing probably to the track before I decide what I wanna do with it. Still got like a couple more weeks left with the hand for it to recover. Still can't get my wedding ring on there. I don't know, just the way it goes. I don't know if my wife actually watches these videos, but uh, we'll see, we'll see if I keep it. I think what you guys should do is in case my wife does watch it, comment below and tell me what I should do. Should I flip it or should I just keep it? or maybe just hold on to it long enough until I find that 125 or 152 stroke for riding track. I don't know, let me know below. You know what, let's just put all these parts on, figure the rest of that stuff out later, go for a little ride now.
All right, that's gonna do it on the YZ250F. So <laughs> it was pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. Just quick little rip, I'm taking you to the track here. I'll catch you there, later.